Hey there, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this flat if you're having issues with masks that don't um, stretch out without leaving creases. Also, I'm going to be adding a really cool tip at the end of the video, so please make sure you watch this video all the way through, all the way to the end. So let's get started. So normally you lint roll just like you do your, your uh, t-shirts um, and then you pre-press to remove moisture just like you do a shirt as well and then you press it to flatten it. This one I think it's 85% cotton, 15 spandex and it's not really flat even after pre-pressing it. It just leaves uh, creases which I don't like, kind of like polyester. So what I do is you can use a cap press which i'm not going to use but just fyi that's an option you can use a cap press which will make it easier it'll just curve it for you i do have a cap press but i also have other masks that i'm pressing and i don't want to have two machines running but if you don't have a cap press this is what you do it's going to be a little time consuming but if those if those are if those are the masks you have then this will be the best thing to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use heat tape and the Teflon pillow or heat pillow and stretch it out and just put some tape on it on, on uh the ends or the edges to stretch it out. And there you go. Like I said it's extra work, but if that's all you have, um you know cat press. Even if you don't have a Teflon pillow, um, just find something to raise it. I'm going to go ahead and pre-press it really quick. Just for a couple of seconds. To flatten it up. I'm going to go ahead and put my image on here. I don't have my tripod. So, hold on. i got to remove something from his eyeball. Sorry. And then you just line up your image. That looks good. I think I need to adjust my heat, my uh, press. Hang on a second. Put it on pause. I'm going to do this for 12 seconds. Okay, and it should come off easily. What I do afterwards is to remove the lines, if there are any. I don't, I don't know if you can see them, but there are the transfer lines. I just grab my Teflon sheet and then I just press it for a couple of seconds, maybe three seconds, four seconds, whatever. And just take it off of the Teflon pillow and you're done. So that's a good way to, uh, it's hot, sorry. You can reuse the tape if you want. I don't. It's, uh, I just don't. So there you go. It doesn't leave uh, crazy lines like you would if it was, as if it was polyester. Because it does have spandex on these masks. I'm not going to buy these anymore. Um, I ended up buying 30 of these um, on Etsy. But for that, I'm not going to buy anymore. I really, really, really like them because they're stretchy and very, it's, it's got a silky feel to it. feels really good. They're breathable. But again, if it's going to take me extra time to flatten it and to get it to look perfect, I'm not going to, I'm not going to purchase it. But anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Um, Sorry I haven't done any videos lately. I've been super busy, plus with this pandemic. Hope everybody's doing well. 
and staying safe. So if you hang tight really quick, I'm going to add a tip at the end of this video just to uh, give you some tips since it's been a while. So here we go. I'm going to throw in a tip in this video. Um, there's times that I, I pre-cut a bunch of my uh, vinyl or any of my work that I'm doing. Sorry. And just to save time from uh, having to do it again later or having to turn my cutter on each time I have an order and I know that that um, they're my best sellers or if I just know I'm going to need a whole bunch of them what I do is I use my label I guess scratch or the label backing and I use Avery for my labels my shipping label that I use is Avery labels it's the two-sided not two-sided it's uh, two pieces i don't throw i don't throw away the the, the uh, backing i've been saving those in case they come in handy for something and in this case they do um when i when i remove vinyl or the excess pieces on vinyl when i'm weeding what i do is i like for instance this one here i have some screw ups and rather than just throw them away and I just need to print or cut um, a letter or two or what have you I just put them I just put them down on this on the uh, wax side the shiny side and just save them for later like here you'll see that uh I hope I'm in camera view here you'll see I needed to rather than just trash it all I have to do is I just cut a B I cut two more bees because I have two of them. For some reason, they didn't completely cut my bees. And so what I do is I just leave them here, stick them on here for later until I'm ready. Like right now, I'm going to need three of them. So I had to, I already had one where the bee screwed up and I almost threw it away, but I decided to hang on to it so I could just cut the breathe. And then again, I was going to throw this away because my eyes screwed up. I, I, I ended up putting it too close to the edge when I was cutting it. So rather than throw it away, I saved it, of course. And then this one, the same thing. So I'm just going to recut that. And then just, you know, I just have them for later. And if, and they did, this was probably a week ago or a few or several days ago. But anyway, just wanted to give you a tip. Don't throw your Avery label um, sheets away. The backing, don't throw them away. I reuse them. So that's going to be a tip that I wanted to throw in while I was thinking about it on this video. Hope that guy, I hope that helps you guys. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.